Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to be replacing our front hub assembly on our 2009 club car precedent. When I, in a previous video, I was working on the bushings on the front suspension and I noticed that this uh, front hub assembly, some of the bearings are already missing out of the hub. That's not good. We want to get that fixed. So I've already ordered the parts. So let's get the club, club car up in the air and get to work. So I went to take apart this side. I already replaced the bushing and this hub was bad. I've already knocked it out off the axle. It's ready to come out. So in order to get the, U, the hub assembly out, all I did, and you don't need any kind of special equipment, is a hammer. And so I took a hammer, let me find my hammer, and I tapped it, and I rotated it, and I tapped it, and I rotated it, and I tapped it, obviously for a long time, because it goes all the way up to here, right there. So just take your time, it'll come off nice and easy. If you rotate it versus trying to whack it in one spot too often, you could bend something and we don't want to bend something. We always want to have an exit plan for this stuff. And the exit plan here was to, to buy a new one, which we're going to do, but we don't want to cause more problems than have to buy the axle or the tie rod arm, whatever that is, both probably. Anyway, so let's get this part ordered and we'll pick back up. So the hub is off and everything's good. So. What do we need to do to order the correct part, the re correct replacement part? Well, we need to get some measurements off of this guy. And you've seen me use this tool before, but the micrometer is what we're going to use for this. This looks like it would be an expensive tool, but in reality, this thing's probably not even 30 bucks. So what we're looking for here is the spacing right here. We need to know what that is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our tool in there. Oops. And come up with a measurement, 0 0.7. 0 0.7. The next thing we wanna do is get the outer measurement here, that's where the wheel's going to sit. 2.2, 2.3 inches, we need that. We also want to know about how far apart these guys are. Probably this way. 2.3 and a half ish. Let's do it again. 2.4. So this tells us some measurements we're going to need when we go online to find the right part. Another piece that is crucially important, put my foot there, is this hub. Just be mindful that these pieces here are different sizes. I guess if you have different wheels or different something, this hub centric piece this is what aligns the wheel to the hub the hub wheel sits on on this and you want to make sure some of these are this thin so roughly one and a third some of them are out here probably two inches or more make sure you get the right one Make sure you get the right one that fits yours that you're replacing. YouTubers, let me get the parts. I've already ordered them. Let me get them opened. I'll put a link to them in the description below that I bought.
Close enough. Let's see if it's the right one. Feels good. Of course, this is going to spin with the wheels, so we're not worried about that. And we're going to lock that on place with it with our existing nut. It did not come with a new nut. So we're going to reuse our nut and tighten it onto there. So the uh, hub is on. I could not find a torque setting for this. So I just, like I said, did the German setting of guten tight. And that's what it is. It's on there nice and solid, not going anywhere. So the bushings are done, the hub is done. I'm gonna put the wheel back on and I'm gonna go back over to the other side and do the hub over there. All right, so the parts are in, the hubs have been replaced on both sides and I'm taking it around the block and it rides just fine. No issues whatsoever. So, YouTubers, if you like the video, like the video.